My fellow socially inept, I'm skipping the nonsense and cutting straight to the chase. If you've been using Discord for a few years now, you and I both know that there's a lot of scams that are roaming around the app now. I made this video pertaining to a Steam scam that is used through Discord if you are curious or if the situation that you are on this video for pertains to this. Click on this video if you need help because this will help you get your Steam account back. However, now if you're a victim of your Discord account being hacked, then this video is for you. One of my fellow commenters, Martian Films, who had his Discord account hacked, recently got it back and told me how he went through the process of getting it back. This is his comment. Usually give away with emailing with Discord support. Usually you start with sending a ticket to the support page first. If they get back to you, reply back if they got questions. Like, was your email changed or did you forget your password? Automated stuff might come to play. Definitely wait when they get back to you. I'll say not to annoyingly try to reply if they haven't gotten back in several hours. They might apologize if they've been slow, so don't push too hard. There's definitely details you also need to have when replying what happened. Here's the details. I suggest remembering the ID you had before. This was how I got my account back. Or other solution is try joining a server in common with a newer account and find that original you had. Public servers tend to be where sometimes these hackers come by, so that's how I'd suggest. Or rather, when taking over the account, they try to hunt down people and servers you joined in. I'd also suggest turning on developer mode to get a number ID. You definitely need that too. Also, gather screenshots if you can, if you have them. I used one from a person who witnessed my account when it was hacked at the time, and definitely give it this. Never give passwords like an idiot. <laughs> no company will ever do this to you. So for the most part, you would go to the basic steps of going to support.discord.com, and there you will be putting in your email that was associated with your hacked account. Be sure to put that the type of questions is the hacked account, and for the subject, please help recover my account. And then put in the description the details of what your account was, like what the name of your account was, the hashtag number, the details of your account and when it was hacked, and be sure to include screenshots if you have them. Apparently, Discord takes more longer to get back on you when it comes to recovering your account. You will get it back though. Remember, that is support.discord.com. I will also put the link in the description. Now I've also gotten several screenshots on how some of these scammers are able to obtain your account and their process of going about it. Basically what I've been told is that they'll usually hit you up about giving you free Discord Nitro and you just need to hit a link in order for you to claim it. Big red flags right there. If anyone that you don't know is sending you a link on Discord telling you to check out something or they're just telling you that you want something free, kindly tell them to fuck off. Over the years, Discord has been a very dangerous communication app for people that are naive to scammers. I've also gotten word that there's another scam that if you were to click on a certain link that's supposed to tell you that an image of you has been leaked, if you were to click on that link, the scammer would essentially be gathering your information from you clicking that link. Given how dangerous the app has been over the past few years, I don't doubt the legitimacy of this. I myself have never had my Discord account hacked, so I wish I can give an estimate of how long it would take for you to recover your account back, but I do put my trust in this commenter that you will get your account back after a while. Now some of you might be thinking, how do I prevent scammers from even trying to mess with me? How do I prevent myself from being scammed in the future? Well, to put it bluntly, if you're trying to avoid being scammed on Discord, you could actually develop some social skills and actually connect with people in public. But given that you're using Discord, you're probably not hot on that idea. So here's an alternative on how to keep yourself from getting scammed or having scammers message you. First off, in your profiles about section, remove any linked accounts that you have to your Discord account. Whether that's your Twitter, your Steam, your YouTube, your Twitch account, remove those. These scammers will look at your accounts and see if there's any financial gain that they could possibly get out of them if they were to scam you. The best way to avoid them from messaging you is just remove the linked accounts from your Discord profile. And trust me, you're not losing out on much. People do not give a fuck about what's in your profile. And remember, don't click random links from strangers on Discord. Keep in mind that even if you're in the server with the same people that you would think that you'd resonate with, that doesn't mean there's not a few people that are willing to stab you in the back. So for your best interest, keep close to only those that you know personally. Also, if you're in servers that have a big amount of people, those are typically the ones that a lot of scammers like to linger around. So if there's any servers that you feel you're not just really getting a good interaction out of, it's in your best interest to just leave the server entirely. That's really all the information I have on certain Discord scams. I'm glad I was able to finally make this video, and I hope it's enough to warn fellow users out there of the scams that are around them and how they can avoid them. I was really scrambling to get this video out to warn other fellow users, because I will not be posting content next year. So I hope that the information that I've provided is thorough enough to help you out with your situation. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe. I have a little bit of content that I will be making for the last bit of this month. And when I do make content, it's always that premium content.
And if you've been scammed, don't be too hard on yourself. Many of us have been scammed and we just don't like to admit it, but we grow from these mistakes that we make. So don't feel too discouraged. You're not alone. Be safe and until the next video, bye-bye.